to organize more non-violent action. All over the country, people realized they could do something about their own situation. What's going on there? Students staged a sit-in at their local restaurant, which had a policy of not serving black people. The students were physically assaulted, but they continued to sit in every day and were joined by more and more students who staged similar sit-ins at other restaurants. In six months, segregation was ended in the restaurants. What's happening here? The start of the Negro March on Washington had no central point. They came with their white sympathizers from every point on the compass. Their primary aim, a full program of civil rights to be quickly enacted and equal job opportunities. This was the biggest rally ever organized by the civil rights workers. A quarter of a million people gathered in Washington to hear Martin Luther King demand civil rights. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. <laughs> Let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring and when we happen, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Other people were also leading protests at this time.